back with another boom 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 bitch. <laughs> thought you won't leave my side, but I guess you lied to me. I thought you was down there, but ain't nobody right but me, and they all turned their back. What? Sex ed. We, we need to, to be spoken louder for the people in the back. It's sex education. You get it? Because it's important. Especially these days because the kids, this generation, you know, they're getting exposed to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lot of things that, especially us in our time, that we weren't exposed exactly. to, you know, like certain things play a factor, you know, when it comes to that. So let's get into it. <clears throat> <laughs> so something that needs to be known is that it is normal for people to have sexual intercourse with one another, but it also can be harmful at times. And there's depending limits. on the circumstances, exactly, there's limits to everything, mm -hmm. you know, and the way the internet is set up kids thinking that they can do that at young ages is i mean of yeah, course I mean. we're here we're put here to reproduce and of course you know <sighs> planting good seeds and but watch them the, sprout but still yeah. like they're yeah they're they play for everything, everything. Yeah. it is difficult you know because you know growing up like our mom wasn't taught that mm -hmm. and, you know and we didn't she didn't teach that to us mm -hmm. you know because we just weren't into that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We were too into the books to and be into sports. that in sports. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> I felt like our mom did well with us, you know, mm -hmm. because we didn't start that, you know, early in early stages, you know, through adolescence, you know, but I feel like during adolescent times, mm -hmm. it is the time because people not even it's male and female going through puberty. Like mm -hmm. they don't know and what's going on with their body. Some women develop quicker than others, you know, mm -hmm. especially at the younger age. It, exactly. Yeah. Like so, you never know when a female will start her cycles. You know when men will start. You know their. They start, you know, because yeah. <laughs> boys do a lot. Yeah. But they're just they totally do a different lot. because they have not go through the But yeah, with men and women, it is two mm -hmm. totally different things, okay? Because women, they actually have cycles that mm -hmm. they go through, you know. Each month. Each month, you know. So they got to know it's a time and a place to do things, especially, you know, you can't be really doing it like that when you won't, mm -hmm. you know, unless you're trying to conjure up some stuff. Exactly. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the intent mm -hmm. you know so it really is an important thing these days to learn about sex education mm -hmm. you know especially being learned during school because we didn't have that class and we didn't have that at all at our high school so. no not at all I mean if they did <laughs> I didn't know about the class I mean, they did <laughs> for sure because I didn't see it anywhere that's what I'm saying like, so yeah I mean and did we even learn that in middle school what job? Exactly. Did and we learn that in school? No, that's a young age to learn that. 
But some yeah. people going through adolescence at that time, you know, puberty and all that oh, shit. Oh, like, yeah, I'm sure they talk about that. Yeah, because some women. But yeah. I don't, I don't remember Her us was, having that. In no, school. we didn't have that class. I don't remember that. See, that's what I'm saying. So that's a big thing that mm-hmm. was. You if know. it wasn't taught at home. Okay, because that's, that's where it starts, mm-hmm. education at home, so, you know. That is a big-ass wall. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> but, yes. Let me, <laughs> let me get into it. Early sex can be risky, mm-hmm. you know. Everything is tricky, you know. Your body is It really does, like. You gotta have more values and self confidence is, mm-hmm. you know, one of the main keys to life. You gotta be confident, th- confident in yourself. If you're not feeling comfortable and good in the inside, it damn sure ain't gonna show on the outside. So you gotta fix some what's in first. You know, you know, definitely. You know, with our experiences, it was totally different because, you know, as we we're ending high school and stuff, that's when we started like really dating. But we were dating females, so it was mm-hmm. like different. You yeah. know. It was really different for us because yeah. we wasn't into dudes, you know. But that's totally different, you know, especially when it comes to <laughs> in the court. Yeah, you know. And these are some of the questions that we have seen. We're gonna like talk about these two mm-hmm. that we have seen. It says, um, so why was it invented? Why was sex invented? Of course, for us to reproduce bring generational wealth for Mm -hmm. generations to come you know that's the key that's the goal you know living in peace and harmony so another one is how can sex which is supposed to be wonderful hurt people because of the circumstances yes that's when it can hurt people Mm -hmm. you not giving consent yeah is a big thing you're not being clean you know that's why that's why hygiene is a key factor Mm -hmm. ding 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 hygiene I had to take a sip on that one because that's right. Literally. And then other cases, you know, that, you know, the uh, the unfortunate things that can happen mm-hmm. to men or women, mm-hmm. that's another thing that causes the hurt and mm-hmm. trauma in that area. So that's why if it's not consensual, you yeah. know, these motherfucking know. Exactly. That's all I did. Okay, rocks. There's, I'm sure there's somebody else I'll give it up to you easier. Okay, so everybody mm-hmm. ain't like that. You got to know how to approach people. Okay. And another one is why, and you know, because people do make jokes about it. Why do people be making jokes about sex? And, you know, it's because some people, I mean, that's how they, it, through humor, some mm-hmm. people, some people go, you have know, many ways of coping through things. Some exactly. is humor. It, it, some it, it, is, you know, eating, you know, drinking. But, you know, that's, that's their way for a reason. Of dealing with it. Mm-hmm. But, you know, that's why I went you feel the need to talk about something that is bothering you don't feel afraid to reach out to somebody mm-hmm. you know you everybody gets signs you get the signs that's why you got to pay attention to your mental health that mm-hmm. is the key that is a big thing that's why we didn't and i was like this is a key thing we didn't hit on because mm-hmm. it's getting too big and too many little kids is trying to be looking like betty boop you know because that's what they be really trying to look like these females these days you know, slim waist, big booty. Everybody ain't shaped like but that. But not naturally. You know, it's plastic. People think natural boobs. This, you know, it's natural titties. levels to it. Like natural titties. titties you know, you can have one bigger than the other. That's how you know you got and natural titties. Exactly, natural titties. Okay, it's just like with men. I vote for just perking it up. Just like with men, they. Some of their damn penises ain't gonna be big, okay? They all got their own shapes and sizes, mm-hmm. left, right, straight, you know, <laughs> fat, pull up, small. <laughs> you know, so it's it's levels to it. <laughs> okay, that's that's a big thing. <sighs> and especially at young ages, kids needing to learn about how to deal with their sexual urges because not all of them are going to know what to do, mm-hmm. you know. And then when it comes to 
being that age, a lot of kids are open to a lot of things, which is good because it's good for you to be open, mm -hmm. you know, and, and at those ages, that's when kids recognize who, what they like, mm -hmm. LGBT, you know, mm -hmm. that's a big thing, you know, if they're going to be bi, straight, or gay, you know, mm -hmm. lesbian, so that is a big thing, mm -hmm. and you'll get them signed but you can't be afraid but i mean no some people are going to know mm -hmm. if their parents are going to accept them or not yeah you know our mom did you know and we love her for that because mm -hmm. she was like as long as my daughters are happy that's what it needs to be you know don't worry about them i got them mm -hmm. so that's how every parent should be accept your kid for who they are they came out of you exactly that's your seat they, from you. they learned it from somewhere you know and not all kids are you know around that kind of stuff because we damn sure weren't around that we didn't know nothing about no gay this this and that mm -hmm. but growing up we were you know you know we're into women so that's you know something that we got picked on about with family not friends but some family you know but that's why we keep away mm -hmm. and be around people that accept you for you and, and love, love you, you, you know, no matter what. No matter what, exactly. That's key thing. <laughs> and it's a G thing. And it's a G thing. It's a G thing. It's a G thing. You get it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you funny. Oh. Yeah, keep it up. Except. All right. Mm hmm. Another thing we want to talk to you about before we close it out. Yeah. Because we had this talk with our godfather and we was asking him questions and stuff, especially when it comes to his experiences with women. Mm -hmm. And we was like asking him, I wish I had the recording, but we just going to talk about it real quick. Okay. Because this is something we want to talk about next and we mm -hmm. want to have male perspectives. Yeah. You know, so for any man who, you know, Want to give us perspective? Want to join in? Okay. You know, we can go live and do it. Questions in a message. Or okay. Whatever. Um, we want to know because it is does do men like women that don't do the work or somebody? But that's then again, mean? it's a, it plays a factor. And it all depends on how the situation goes. Experienced or not? That too. We're exactly. not experienced like that. No. So, <laughs> not at all. So <laughs> that plays a factor. It really does. So we anybody right. can learn on experience, but everybody can learn exactly. So it's, it's either you want to experience her or you want somebody that's going to be, you know, okay and, shell. and break her out the shell. You get it? You know, so, <laughs> <laughs> but we do want some perspectives, you know, <laughs> so we can know because he was all like, I mean, for me, it all depends on the circumstance. That's what he was saying, mm -hmm. you know, because I didn't have women that really didn't put in some work and then times where I, you know, after we finished, my ass was tied as hell, so, <laughs> you know, back and all, he said my neck and my back, <laughs> so, yes, but we do want to know, so yes. comment below, you know, <laughs> and we appreciate y'all coming yes. in Make for sure TNT, like, comment, and subscribe, okay. hit that bell notification, if you care, you get it, woo, 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 ow, ow, ow. Okay. <laughs> yes, we love you, KC Gang. Yeah. And thank you to all our new subscribers that have been subscribing. Yes. We love you all. Stay tuned for the Shenyan again, multi fairy style. Yes. Okay. Cancel season is coming. Okay, so be prepared. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. So just okay. maybe we'll be back with another. Bye.